if you go out to dinner do you pay are you uh, like you have to pay or split the bill kind of guy yeah i mean either i'm paying or i'm getting everything for free <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Karuna from Region 90.5 FM and today I'm thrilled to be catching up with Junaid Malik, the man of the moment, after the release of his last single, Pyar Tanu Kara. Hi Junaid, how are you? Hi Karuna, I'm very well, how are you? I'm good and it's good to see you and it's good to be chatting with you again so soon. It was just in February that uh, Kavita was talking with you about Be Misal, your last song. Yeah, I mean, um, there's a lot of music there to come out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we can be talking very soon again. <laughs> yeah, after today. Yeah, so um, I appreciate that. We are ready. And uh, before we get into the new track, which is why we're here, let's literally pick up where we left off with Be Missal, right? So it's yeah, been no about three <clears throat> months, 14 weeks to be exact, about 14 weeks. Since the release okay. of Famous Al, do you know that it is still on our countdown after 14 weeks? It's still one of the most requested songs on 90.5 FM. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen it on Instagram and I'll be honest, um, it is quite heartwarming. You know, uh, the love that I get from Trinidad and Tobago from the Radio 90.5 family. And I hope, um, like, you know, we can keep this journey going. And it would be lovely if I could take over the top nine with, just like a nine song you know, nine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because <laughs> <laughs> we still have not had enough of baby style and now here we are with a brand new track so baby style was your valentine's day gift to us and here you are again with another present this time on your birthday it should be the other way around but okay we'll take it <laughs> and um it's already on the chat as well so, you know, so far you have two out of the nine spot. Congratulations on the last release. And um, let's get right into it. Pyar Tanu Kara. We want to hear everything about this song. I mean, uh, it's an R&B song. You know, it's, it's a massively Western influence kind of vibe. You know, real chilled out. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, um, with a... With a heavy influence of this as well and um yeah something that i feel like that's not not around so much i feel like the main focus right now is on um you know punjabi music or like bollywood music and i'm just trying to like represent the culture yeah. that i come from which is the british asian culture yeah it is a very british asian song because after being missile which was very bollywood um, you know, well, we're big on Bollywood at 90.5 FM, as you know, and I think that's why we love it so much. We can't get enough of it. Now you've returned to what I think is closer to the Junaid Malik style, though what we would expect from you. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know what my style actually is. You know, um, I'll just jump in and about whatever vibe that is quite prominent at that time. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that I follow trends, but I definitely feel a certain way when I'm making music and I'm usually just following the feeling. Right. One thing is for sure that I love repping my culture, my, whoever I am, uh, the British Asian identity, I think uh, has a, quite the impact on the music world for, you know, Asians all over the world. Right. So uh, I think uh, knowing that I'm representing that, just gives me a little bit more of a push to make sure that kind of music is where my focus is yeah because even so even though I say yes it's closer to your style I have said it on my show I've said it on air so many times that you are literally inventing new genres of music you know in front of our very eyes and it's an incredible thing to to watch unfold and to listen to so I think that's really brave of you and I love, I, this has to be my favourite song now of yours. Thank you. I mean, um, once again, like, uh, I take music quite seriously. It's um, such a prominent part of my life where I have to tap into that creative side quite deeply, you know, and um, 
yeah, it's it's to be honest, me making music right now and being able to explore all these different avenues, it feels like a miracle. So um, yeah, yeah uh, I mean, just get ready. Like we, we, we've got a We're lot ready. more projects. We've been ready, <laughs> okay. <laughs> But um yeah, so back to this track now. It is very romantic, very it's a very sexy song. You know, I think it's definitely unlike any other song that you've done so far in just that regard. And you know, here we see you teaming back up with Jason J. Right? What was it like working with him after more than two years? It would have been on this type of tune, something that both of you have probably never worked on before. Yeah, look, I can praise Jason J as much as I like, but it wouldn't be enough. Uh, the guy's a genius. I think mine and his partnership when we're making music together is, is second to none. Like, I don't think there's anyone else that can catch that vibe. You know, we explore all kinds of sounds. We mm-hmm. will rock it back into, you know, King's Harvest or like, you know, like uh, anything from the 60s or 70s coming up to like the current day and age and we listen to it and just vibe with it, you know? So we are all about the music. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it just felt like home then working with him again after this time. It felt like no time had passed. No, a hundred percent. I mean, again, uh, me and him, we're like brothers. It is a very much family thing. And anytime I get to see him or make music with him, it is a joy, it's a pleasure. I mean, it feels like fate has literally brought us together to complete this part of our journey yeah so yeah we're always pushing each other and um yeah just very grateful for having him like as my producer uh we are grateful for that we're grateful for that chemistry that you talk about that partnership because you know at 90.5 fm we also consider him part of our extended family just like you because um well we were first introduced to him through your song full java dunia which turned out to be our most requested song of 2020 we know yeah, there are a few other tracks that you'd have worked on so you know we do feel very close to him we feel that chemistry we know that when you get together amazing things will happen so um that's good to hear so with respect to this song can we expect a remix the reason i'm asking is because under our instagram post our latest chat post uh, yeah. producer jason j would have commented don't ask about <laughs> the other version with the extended hip-hop ending so you know i have to ask <laughs> what is that what is he talking about yeah look um jason j again he's a he's a he's a, a crazy producer you know he's he doesn't he's never satisfied with one version of the song so yeah. there are a few versions that have been cooked up by him and mm-hmm. to be honest you're gonna have to ask him yourself I'll, a few versions you remember. as yeah, in yeah. more than the hip-hop version there's other versions yeah look um again this guy's crazy when it comes to music. He he loves music more than I do, I guess, in some ways. But um, yeah, like you're just gonna have to ask him for all of the versions. Uh, do you have any other projects planned with him this year? Uh, I would love to disclose all the secrets for you. But um, <laughs> there's a lot of projects. I mean, apart from him, I am working with other producers, other artists. You know. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a really busy year, you know, yeah. I've, I'm actually quite overwhelmed with all the projects that I've taken on, but, wow. you know, it's, uh, yeah, I can't wait to just complete them, send them out to the world, share them with the family of Radio 90.5 and Trinidad and Tobago, you know. I and, hope uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue to get that exclusive first radio play because so far we got it for Bimasal for uh, this new Pyar Tanukara and you know, it's such a treat for us, for our listeners, you know, because they've really connected with you. That support is there, that loyalty is there. You know, you've really formed a bond. It seems like no matter what you give us, we're there. We love it. Yeah, We're all in. <laughs> I mean, I'm loyal to the support as well, you know. Uh, if, you, if you're supporting me that much, then I promise you I'll give all of myself to you. So... Again, thank you to the Radio 90.5 family for everything that they've done for me and are doing for me. And I hope I can just make you guys proud, you know. 
Oh, we're already proud of you. Thank you. How long did this song take to write, produce? Just basically, what? How long was the entire process? Oh, that is a very tricky question. I mean, uh, it took me writing wise. It took me probably like thirty five minutes. Um, the vocals that you hear on the song, um, thing, yeah, that that was all in the thirty five minutes. But then we had some extended mass break of life due to yeah. COVID where I couldn't get around releasing the song. Right. So it's taken a bit of a while, but you know, everything happens for a reason. Oh well, yeah, 35 and, minutes. Well, what? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, uh, I love working quick with when it comes to writing songs and recording them. I don't want to take up too much time. I feel like creativity is a spurt, you know, like it, it comes in the moment and if you don't make the most out of it, then you might Yes, so yes. yeah as fast as I can not to rush but just yeah. to move quickly right yeah to, to make the most of to capitalize on it I guess yeah. um, right so as much as we love your songs your music yeah. you know um, with every track so far there's been a really beautiful music video to go with it and this song Piar Tanukara is no different. We do love this video. It is beautifully made. And I think you have a knack for choosing some of the most stunning locations. So uh, what was it like? What was it like on the day, you know, scripting it? and? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, we, we shot this video and uh, we, again, we have all sorts of plans to make it as such. But when you turn up on the day, um, this time I didn't want to be so stressed out and thinking about everything, every little detail. I think right now with this project, it was just about getting in, having fun, you know, and uh, I'm pretty lucky, you know, like I get to shoot videos, get to release them, meet interesting people at the shoots. I'm grateful for everyone that turned up, you know, I had people from many corners of the world turn up for this music video and, you know, uh, they made it special for me to like just putting all that work in and, like doing what we can, you know, and uh, I think we pulled that off quite well. Obviously, as time goes along, uh, the music videos will start getting a bit more, how can I put it, a bit more detail, let's say, you know, um, mm-hmm. there'll be there'll be more emphasis on the stories as well, just yeah. like Ben Masal, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, but this specific video, I think we just had fun. We wanted it to be quite intimate, romantic, you know, and quite cool, you know. Yeah. Well, you definitely get that intimacy, that closeness, that kind of sensual feeling from the video, which brings me back to the song. You know, what what I was really fascinated by when you were chatting with Kavita last was you told her Be Misal was not actually about a person or a romantic yeah. relationship. It was about your relationship with the creator. That is at least what you were thinking of when you wrote this song. Because when you hear a romantic song, when you hear a love song, very rarely do we think it could be about something else. So what yeah. is Piyad Tanukara about, really? <laughs> I would love to say that Piyad Tanukara is all about, you know, um, a specific girl or like, girls you know but to be honest I wrote that with the intention of music and um you know I mean if if you understand the song then you know I've been watching you up all this time I'm actually talking about music you know and and yeah I just want to make love to my music now and I'm not scared to show it to the world I guess (laughs) Um, we've talked about the love that you've been getting in Trinidad, you know, obviously the loyalty and the support is there. It's concrete, it's not moving. We're there for you wherever you go. We're right behind you, you know, waiting to hear whatever is coming next. Um, Has the reception been similar in other parts of the world? I mean, I saw last week, that it was picked up by on a much bigger scale and closer to home as well by the BBC Asia Network. It was named the Friction Banger of the Week. So, yeah, what, what has that been like? Yeah, I mean, it's always a blessing to get the thumbs up from someone like Bobby Friction. Um, apart from him, there's 
been other DJs as well, RJs that have played a song on BBC Asia Network, and it's it's always a great feeling to be accepted by your peers. So it's happened before, and... or is this your first time that it's been identified as like singled out with one of your songs? It's this is the first one that's been singled out by Bobby, you know, and uh, that in itself is. Yeah, I'm I'm just really grateful for the feeling. I feel like uh, anytime I speak to him, it's only a five minute conversation. Yeah. Um. So definitely, I gotta find a way to sit down with him and speak about music on a deeper yeah. level. You know, and um, yeah, really prick his brain. So, do you feel like that has been um a turning point for you in your career now, with your big comeback after two years? Do you think that, or moments like that? Um, have helped you gain some traction in the industry because it is a difficult industry to kind of break through into. Yeah. Look, I'm blinded by the music right now. I'm not so much worried about, like, where it's taking me. Um, I'm just, like, fixated on getting all that music out there. And, uh, again, I'm a genuine believer. It will end up to the ears that are made for it. So all I can do as a musician, as an artist, is create the music. And then after that, it belongs to the world. So, yeah, wherever it takes us, I guess. Right. I know you said uh, no surprises. You're not going to reveal anything. But uh, is there anything you can tell us? Because you've released two songs already, Be Missal and Fab. But then we have this one. It's not even midway through 2022 yet. Is there more plan for this year? Yeah, I mean, I'll, you see how you said you didn't expect the Artanukana to come out of the Bay Missal. So, like, I think the pattern is quite much, like, set, you know. So expect the unexpected. <laughs> I think we need to ask for your special occasions calendar because so far it's lining up Valentine's Day, birthday. What are the special occasions? <laughs> Oh, they're coming and then we'll we'll know like okay we have a heads up to look out on those things yeah i mean again i'm not i'm not a astrologer so these moments just yeah they just come with it you know it's never planned it just kind of happen so that that's with respect to at least your original music your music right i've also noticed this year you've started doing covers on your social media covers all sorts of covers Bollywood covers covers of your own songs by the way yeah that version of Menu Mirehal would have been my personal favorite one I think that's the best one but yeah clearly you're doing other things so are there any other projects that you can maybe tell us about like if covers or performances yeah I mean covers covers are you know part of life now I guess yeah look um I didn't fancy them in the beginning. I always wanted to focus on original music. But I know people want to hear my voice. And I think that's the main thing. If I have to give the people what they want, right? Yeah. You know, so many times yes. um, you, you look at artists growing up and they don't actually give you what you want. As in, like, you wanted a certain collaboration to happen or, you know, it, it never happened. So I think my main focus is to give my audience what they want and, you know what they expect out of me so yeah there's there's gonna be quite a few covers this year well Janine, where we in trinidad we're here for all of it right you know i mentioned before at radio 90.5 fm we're big on bollywood but we're big on you as well so anything that you have to share with us yeah just uh, send it through so we're just about ready to wrap up here today Janeida, thanks again so much for your time and for sharing so much about this beautiful song, right? Uh, I think what I love about your music, especially your love songs, they are so multifaceted. You know, on your last chat with Kavita, you mentioned the roller coaster of emotions. And I feel like we're experiencing that roller coaster track by track. You know, Baby yeah. Missal would have been this deep, soulful, spiritual kind of love next level kind of love i mean all of them and this song you get the flirty this light um but at the same time deeply sensual side yeah. of music so it's very intimate kind of love song so since you're in a romantic mood these days 
I thought we'd play this or that. Dating All right, cool. Questions. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Night in or night out? Night in. Okay. Dinner or a movie? A movie. A movie? What kind of movie? Uh, Bollywood, I guess. Anything, really. Anything that captures the imagination. Bollywood. Okay. And um, if you go out to dinner, or if you up for dinner in... Uh, do you pay? Are you uh, like you have to pay or split the bill kind of guy? Yeah, I mean, either I'm paying or I'm getting everything for free. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm just joking. Let's uh, pretend for a second that you're not a homebody and you want to go yeah. out. <laughs> Would you rather go to a cricket match or a concert? A concert, 100%. Yeah. And yeah. would you rather go see the sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. Definitely sunrise after darkness is light. So definitely sunrise. <laughs> oh, wow. There's some depth to that as well. And if you had to do a weekend away, would it be a weekend at the beach or in the mountains? Uh, that's a trick question. Well, but yeah, I mean, look, look, Trinidad isn't here. Get me to Trinidad and Tobago so I could do both. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Janine, for your time today and for sharing so much. And like you said, in your own words, we'll be catching up again really soon, I hope. Inshallah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> so best of luck to you. If there's anything else you'd like to say to our listeners, to your fans in Trinidad. Yeah, uh, thank you for all the love and support to the Radio 90.5 family, everyone in Trinidad and Tobago. I'll be there very soon. But till then, you can catch me on Instagram. Follow me at the Junaid Malik. And um, just one big, big shout out to my team, my manager, Jason J, and everyone else that is supporting behind the scenes. There's a lot of work going on. And once again, just thank you. Thank you so much. Take care.